Cheers, and welcome my friends, I'm Honotrak and we are playing Imperator Rome as Teutonia. Well, Teutonia turned Darkia, I guess, since uh, we control almost all of Darkia at this point. The only thing that's missing is this over here, Trichomium. Uh, I really, I, I want that, so that we control all of our, all of our lands. Um, having a bit of a problem with these guys, but we finally finished all, up all the other wars, and these guys aren't even that rebellious anymore, so I guess since these guys are our our uh, vassals, we're actually gonna go and drop an improved opinion on these. Um, I might actually um, work to our advantage. Right. And here we're already improving opinion. We already sent a gift to them as well. Because we have no real interest in controlling more of this area. But we are we do have an interest in gaining a little bit more money. We might have more problems if uh, we also take these guys as tributaries. Um, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes, yeah. Um, anything else that we need? Yeah, we have double pay on these guys. I wonder how many more we're gonna need to finish this war against Moesia. Quite a few, probably. We'll send these guys down. Um, see where that leads us. We still have a very, very scary Rome right next to us with 4,000 pops. Um, they are a major power. They're still no great power, but I don't like that they are um, progressing that hard into that direction. That doesn't make me happy at all, I gotta say. So we probably wanna we probably wanna keep pushing here. We got the capital, we got this place. We'll be we'll be fine. So we can go up in speed a little bit. Okay. No long importing grain. To where were we importing the grain? Here? Yeah. All of a sudden... How many, how many gemstones do we have? Just one. So we would lose the capital bonus, which we don't want. But it would be kind of nice to get precious metals. Are we exporting precious metals? Yeah, we are. So... Trade overview. We're exporting. Cancel this route. And we've got precious metals over here because that gives us city loyalty, which would probably be pretty helpful, all things considered. Um, could also stop this and actually bring it to our capital. What would the. Uh, so plus on the capital citizen promotion cost. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need that later down the line, but there's probably no point in going for that right now. What do you have? It would be kinda nice if I got a tool tip about people that join my war. Listen, Liburnia, why don't you just leave this, eh? You're like you're fighting for your body over here, it's not gonna help you. Shame of a governor. Um, so this guy has been behaving outrageously. We'll just kick him out. Uh, we'll put someone else in. Borto, I guess. Uh, he's not that loyal. Maybe this guy. Tour guest. Seems alright. We actually have fatter fish to fry than fight Moesia. I'm just thinking we might maybe get some slaves out of this or something, but probably just going around hoovering up people might be more helpful than this. I don't know. How many men do we have against us? 13? I mean, our troop quality isn't really what excels here, I think. I wonder if they're willing to sue for peace. Give me, give me all your money. And you'll become my vassal. Yeah, they will do that now. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, then. I mean, this is probably going to drop us into another rebellion, then. 
It should also allow me to hold a bunch of triumphs. This guy, loyalty, 95%. This guy is not very loyal. So we'll just triumph him. This guy is pretty loyal. Okay, this, uh, I mean, a lot of their areas don't have that much population. They do have that enslavement um, efficiency boost, uh, but for some reason it's not really happening. I'm gonna help our guys over here, I think. I want wood. Yeah, you can totally have wood for me. Fine with that. Someone died. Is it him? No. Hey, that's a slave. Okay. One slave to Sidava. Oh, this guy was oh apothecary. Alright then. Half the apothecary. I found this a very interesting campaign just considering we've been building tall as a tribe, <laughs> in a way. Ah, oh, come on, we're still losing this? God damn it. Guys. Okay, it might be time to just go for peace now. And then it looks like this is going to be another rebellion. 25%. Okay. Hmm. Well, in any case, we probably need more pops to take more of these lands, governor. Uh, uh tributary, I mean. But it's fine. This is fine. These guys will send up north. Well, at least we're done now in terms of uh, these areas over here. So we can we can probably pack up and go. This will give 18. This will give 17. Um, still really interested in getting a couple more of those. Um, Population-wise, this has 6, 7, 8. It is not taken by anyone. So we'll pack it in over here. We'll take the eight. This one over here, two, three, seven, eight. Yep. And then the next one is two. Is a seven. So I guess we'll take that one as well. Arangelia. Um. Because it's all settled. There's still two. There's still eight over here, right? So that's nice. I'm gonna pack these guys up as well. Should wait here. Pack up eight. What was that? This one? Pedrosia. That's an eight. Anywhere else that has a lot of population. This is Bohemia. Most of this stuff is settled. This one is a seven, so could work. Buria is a six. Minus Wervia. This is a six. This is a six. Just trying to get the most out of this, right? This is a six. Six. Five. Six, four. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think that seven over here might still be a thing. So I guess. Take these guys over. And I guess the three over here. It's going to be rather expensive in terms of oratory power, but we'll get a bunch of pops from this. So I think that's worth it. The insanity of tribal chief Hiddelake. Hiddelake, tank raid, the paragon, ordinarily a man of sound mind and superlative business acumen, has been acting unusually. Uh, his personal advisor reports that the tribal chief has started slav slavering at the mouth, uttering inane nonsenses. <laughs> 
Even proposing marriage to each and every member of his clan council in the space of an hour. <laughs> we think he might have cracked. Okay, we got a son, which, I mean, yeah, sure. Having a son is nice, but... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so let's improve opinion with these guys. It might help, it might not. We'll send gifts. Um, the rest of, of Rebellion. 26.40% of the population. Mm. What we can also do is turn down the, the tributes to boost the opinion. I mean, we don't really need to squeeze the last out of them. Maybe they'll become loyal now. Yeah, that worked. Nice. Yeah, I'd rather avoid any, any sort of wars in that direction. We really need to... Husband our resources here a little bit. Seven and eight is fifteen, so that's fine. I guess we only have those five left. Um, so might as well use them to get another five province. Right. Mm, who's my heir? This guy, oh, he does. He has a decent amount of oratory power, that's for sure. Um, the only thing that's missing is this place. These guys have um, Erevisia, Aconiata, Erevisia. Okay, so these guys are over there. Um, they're guaranteed by the Tegiti as well. That's annoying. They're not in a defensive alliance because they're local power. Hmm. Yeah, no. Let's settle here. Let's settle. Uh, we're gonna need a governor. Proud, unnoticeable, weak-willed. Nah, I want someone with some loyalty. Um, these guys are druidic. Okay, now ours is the dominant culture here. And that's done as well. Very nice. I haven't really seen any other centers of population. This is a six, five, six, seven. Okay. Petition approaches. A senior citizen by the name of Burabista Tsirikus approached our tribal chief in private this morning. In a hushed voice, he spoke of a vision of the near future in which he was found by his loved ones, having been burned at the stake. <laughs> With shaking hands, he offered his world the goods to the state in return for our protection. So, normally we have these. <laughs> we can also burn him at the stake. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> we're a lunatic. Holy hell, that's evil. Oh man, that's evil. No, we'll take the oratory power. It's all gonna be fine. Don't worry about it too much. At least. Okay, we need another governor. Put you in as governor. This guy's already twoistic, so all I need to do is assimilate to make them Teutonian. And these guys settle them down. Right. Who's gonna be a little bit careful? So this will give us um, 14 plus 10 is 24. 24 and 16, so that's like 40. That's 40 and 14 uh, is 54. And then these guys will give us 16, I think. 8 and 8, so 54 and 6. Well, 60, so we'll get 70 pops that we can resettle back into our home area. The Tegitian civil war has ended. And... Yeah, that still didn't help them. I think their, nibble, their neighbors nibbled at them quite a bit. I'm gonna grant military access, for sure. We're benevolent overlord over here. I think. Budding friendship. We can, we can friends with the... With Malogast, governor of Bohemium. And that's actually helpful in a way. 
Uh, we'll do it because we're lunatic. For sure. Why not? Let's just go for some lunatic ways. Hmm. We do have the points to keep doing this for a little while. For, for a little while longer, I think. So maybe we'll just go home and settle. I mean, we have this area very heavily settled, but maybe we'll just go into our home province, uh, into our capital province, and do this. We have 244 pops right now there. Um, might not be a bad idea to maybe settle a couple more. How many have we... How many do, do we have changed? 214 pops. How is our population? We kind of have more Salmoxian Teutonians now than Touristic Teutonians. That's not really a great state of affairs, so we definitely got to go conversion. Right, well, we have no real interest in colonizing more land over here. So I guess we'll just, I'll just, we'll just up and go. Send these 10k back home. We'll give them a commander of sorts. And we'll send them back over here to Potassia, maybe. And have all military access. We just, I mean, it might be better to just grab more land, but I think it might be better to just on purpose stay inside our own boundaries and our own land and just do what we want to do. Right, just develop come better oh look at this barbarians that's unnice <laughs> kind of that is a bit of a motivation to get up here and start running too now we just have one percent attrition here so that's fine I guess oh they're coming after me that's not right. <laughs> Leave me in peace, barbarians. I'm not interested in you. Why don't you go and plunder someone else over there? Hey, There's like plenty of land to plunder. Okay, Tugiti has um, ended its access to my land. Yes, that is to be expected. I think we should settle down over there. Get that done. Hello. So, 16 migration units out of this. I mean, why the hell not, right? Why do we wait until we get the barbarians? Ah, yeah, we have lack of a governor here. Put him in charge. Okay, at least we're no longer losing things. Yeah, there's not a lot of support limit in this area. Is there anything else that we want to get? I mean, there could be seven here. It's a six. That's a six. This could still be good areas for us to settle, maybe. As long as we're getting that decent chunk of oratory power. Although, well, as we said, we could also use that to get more citizens, maybe. I don't know, I think we'll just... I guess we'll do this. Give you a leader with bottleneck. We'll come over here to Vestuvia. I think that was... Oh, okay. So you're taking some losses. I'm not sure I care too much about it. I kind of want you over here. But maybe we should maybe we should make one of these kind of a bigger bigger province, so I can put down some fortresses. Like uh, we should probably expect more barbarians coming from this, and having a having a fort over here in Dolom would be pretty good. So getting more pops in here, getting a bit of a higher supply limit. I think we'll just send them over there, settle them here. He's 
These guys are still fighting. I think the Gitian Revolt is almost at an end, though. So that's good. Pay point eight. Don't don't attrition each other, guys. Marching through these areas in winter is harsh. At least they just light infantry, so... Hey, Cassonius sent us 90 bucks. That's pretty awesome, gotta say. Okay, listen, you can go back to Sadava. Why are you being attrition here? Oh, that's just because of winter, I think. Because uh, the unit weight can't be it. It has a supply limit of 141, so... Yeah, I don't think that's it. Put you on the border. We'll put you into a polum. That might be a good idea. Oh, they're barbarians over there. Yeah, we definitely need these guys at the border. Gitian civil war has ended. Awesome. So... Now Gitia has actually become a little bit more useful to us. Receives tribute from Palandava. So Palandava is the, the vassal of Gitia, and Gitia is my vassal? That seems weird. But okay. These guys have no general, but they, they have no need of one anymore. This is fine. Right, so population wise, we have six here, seven here, six here. So I think. Uh, settle these guys down. It should be the same province as the other one. No, it's another one. Damn it. Okay. Put another governor in here. And we still got nine people left. Five, six, six. I think we'll just pull these up. Right, so we'll go six here, three here. And you give me two. No. You stay here. We sent the we sent the two over there. And then one from these guys. And that's gotta be it. I don't think we wanna engage below six pops. It just that makes doesn't make any sense. do it though um i mean yeah right of course supply limit in these provinces is going to be tiny because there's no one living there we just took everyone that was living there so of course that is a problem right um uh, we'll go bottleneck and we'll have these guys force march all the way to sadava and then we decide what we do with them Oh yeah, we're actually losing now. I uh, want to settle these guys here, which makes this the capital and also allows us two buildings. I think this is going to be a really good fortress. Right. I'm going to go civilization effort very soon. 
Now my question is, is it really worth it to settle down here? I think so. I mean, this still doubles our pops, right? So, assimilate, 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 convert. So these twoistic, yeah, so yeah, all of this is Teutonian and twoistic. Put this guy in charge. Not too shabby. So Teutonia has 896. Once we've resettled all these guys, I think we'll look uh, a lot nicer. Just gotta make sure that none of these are super highly populated. An influ influential family. Oh, that gives us more provincial loyalty. Theodoram of the renowned Tancred family has, has deigned to offer us the support of his family's vast network of contacts in a bit to better reorganize our bureaucratic system. It is curious that he should approach us now. Indeed, some might wonder what the aim of his offer might really be. He only asks that we issue a proclamation in extreme gratitude for the loyalty of the family Tancred. Awesome. Why not? Sure. I mean, hell yeah. I kind of want to just deal a little bit with the imbalances in the region. I think so. Maybe this is the whole this is the whole province, right? This, for example, <clears throat> split this in half. Um, yeah, we'll send these guys over here. So those guys over there. Wanna have all of this, like at least a little bit uh, green. Oh, clan chief, head of the Makolos family. Okay, so he has some retinue over here. That's fine. What? No! Oh, and this belongs to commander now. That's why I'm paying through my nose for this. Alright then. Crap. It's not gonna help local civilization values. <sighs> Let's hope they don't get much loyalty from this. Might have to suicide some of these guys. Neck here. Send them to Sidava. These guys can settle now. Right. Instead of these three provinces that we want to pull out, um, we don't quite have the, the points for that though. Just for two of them. Um, so we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, that's done. Awesome. I really don't want to hold on to this to this whole army. I could probably just take the, the light horse away from this. But I think just getting rid of the whole army is going to be the better course of action. So yeah, so we lost the salt import. Hmm. There's nothing else that we can import other than horses from our own capital so we'll do this gives us light cavalry discipline which might actually be nice all things considered so you're going to Sadava you're going to Sadava we should probably wait until we can pull all of these guys out okay we've got that autosave going Come on. Tagitian Revolt. I already just want Trichomium. Can I threaten war? I think I can, right? Yeah. I have no castle's belly. It would actually cost me a bunch of oratory power to then force him to give that thing up. Duria, Aconiata. And then a defensive thing with um, the other guys as well. But I want it. I want it back. It's mine. I just don't know it yet. 
Well, in any case, I think this has been a pretty successful episode. We even managed to, like, stop our uh, our people from rebelling. Look at that. These are all our tributaries now. We can probably make more out of this, out of them as well. Maybe take Pekensia as a tributary. They don't have all that many friends other than the Tugitis. So, yeah, um, even though I don't want to take more land outside of Darkia, maybe we'll just um, have a bunch of vassals around us that rely on us for support and help and all that kind of stuff. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.